Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your second You Pick Tuesday matchup of the week. Dennis Wolf, 2007, Marcus Rule, 2002, Gunter Schlierkamp, 2002, of course, show of strength. Now, this is part two of the battle of the German Giants, using their best versions, and it's not possible to use 2002 Knight of Champions for Marcus Rule, so I had to throw in other versions. Judging by this one, though, Marcus, he is the biggest in the arm department, but that's about it. As far as the V-taper is concerned, the midsections, I think Marcus Rule would fall last in, in line. But this is the front double, so we are definitely taking that into consideration. I prefer Dennis Wolf personally. I like his X-frame. I like the V-taper. Hey, if he's last place in the arm department, he's first place everywhere else. Gunter Schlierkamp. Now, he's in good condition, good small waistline, things of that nature, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. Judging by this one, mm, he's not winning. He's not winning. Go to the front lat spread. And Dennis Wolf, guys, he comes out strong. Now, this is one of the only other pitchers of, Den or of Marcus Rule from the Night of Champions. Not a good pitcher, as you can see. Now, look at this. This was earlier on in his career, I believe 1999. He had the hair. Now, I'm telling you right now, guys, he was a beast. He had the square haircut. What a, a shredded monster. He's actually, you know, I was going to say he's winning this one, but look at Dennis Wolf, guys. He is unbelievable, and he is incredible. So not a whole lot to be said for Gunter Schlierkamp. I'm heading in ahead of the first uh, couple of shots. But, I mean, the guy's in good condition. And keep in mind, guys, this version knocked out Ronnie Coleman, a current champion Ronnie Coleman. Go to the side uh, chest department. I had a little bit of a trouble finding a side chest pitcher of Dennis Wolf. I had to employ the, uh, the help from Superset Man. Anyway, guys, Dennis Wolf, you notice I made him quite a bit shorter than this, than the other two guys. Might even have uh, been able to make him a little bit shorter than he is. He's bending at the knees quite substantially. You can see his far lag. The other two dudes. Now, this is 2002, Marcus Rule. This is the Mr. Olympia version. And let's actually bring on a Gunter Schlierkamp from the Night of Champions. And his chest, it's not as strided. It's not as ripped. But it looks like he has the, the 70s bow going on. Looks pretty impressive to me. Marcus Rule, I think the midsection's hurting him a little bit in this shot. It is very close, guys. Dennis Wolf, actually, he is impressing me, and on my score sheet, he is in the lead, heading into the side tricep development. And this is a this is a difficult one to judge. It was hard to size these guys all at a different angle. Marcus Rule, impossible to find a full body side tricep from 2002. This is a 90s one again, and look how ripped he is. Look at the lag development. And he's winning in the tricep. But then again, the, disten the distension in the midsection, maybe a lack of balance in the physique, unesthetically pleasing. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is a difficult one to judge. Gunter Schlierkamp, he looks solid. You know, small waistline, good big chest. Fantastic, actually. Legs look like they're very conditioned. This is the 2002 Olympia for Gunter. And uh, actually, this the first of the side chest pitchers, that was also in 2002. Olympia was a pretty darn good year for Gunter. But it was no strength or power, whatever they call it. Show of strength. Show of strength, I apologize. So side tricep, I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to go with Dennis Wolf. I think he is, you know, aesthetically pleasing. He has, I was going to say, he did, none of them really, well, Marcus Rule has a good tricep. But then again, his midsection. Difficult one to judge. Let's have a look at the back developments. And oh my comeuffins, this is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps the man that was in last place in this competition, which was Gunter Schlierkamp, he's winning. He's winning this whole show, guys. I hate to disappoint you, you Dennis Wolf fans, you Marcus Rule fans. Take a look at the striations in the glutes. Look how dry he is. You could show this to somebody that never watched bodybuilding in their life. And you could explain to them about conditioning and dryness about one for about one second. Show them this, they'd tell you Gunter wins. And it's not just the overwhelming point of winning a rear lat spread, guys. It is the fact that the man is in so much better condition. 
than the other two dudes, that it's not even a comparison. And this is why he defeated Ronnie Coleman. I mean, come on, guys. The judges were there. They seen how dry he was. And I'll be honest with you. If they were all in equal condition, I mean, which is a pipe dream, guys. If they were all in uh, all best condition, or the same condition, rather, I'd probably put Gunter in last place, to tell you the truth. I'd probably put Dennis Wolf in first. Dennis Wolf has an incredible lat spread. Unbelievable. But guys, you know where I stand on this one, and that's the last I'm going to say about it. And here is the rear double bicep. Marcus Rule, guys, I have to say, this is a different version of him, but I gotta say, the guy is so big. Not only from the front, but the guy had a very impressive back development. Look at those hamstrings, and even the shape of the glutes. He is just massive everywhere. Delts, biceps. But the guy had soft glutes. The guy had soft glutes. Even the, the few pitchers from the Night of Champions. And actually, I did bring up a, a couple of seconds of a Night of Champions. Marcus Rohr, rear lat, rear lat spread. Apologize. And from what you can see, guys, he was nowhere near as dry as Gunter. Again, food for thought. Gunter may be the least impressive as far as the the lat spread. Dennis Wolf, if you take a close look, guys, he is a heck of a lot drier than Marcus Rule. More striations in those glutes. And I like the overall balance of Dennis Wolf. So if it's a battle for second place, I gotta give it to Dennis Wolf. But man, Marcus Rule. Gotta give the guy his respect. Look at those calves. You can never unsee those big babies. Of course they were probably more visible in the rear lat spread. Gunter, guys, look how dry he is. I just, you know, it's on another level altogether. Ab and thigh pose. And we're reaching an end to this one. And Dennis Wolf seems to be coming out strong. If it was just up to the ab development, still, I honestly wouldn't know who to give it to. Gunter Schleerkamp, he is much like a Ian Valier in the ab department. And hey, no disrespect meant to either of those two guys. It's just... Some guys are Lee Priests, some guys are Sean Rays, and some guys ain't. And none of these guys are. So, I mean, which way do you go? I like the flow, the overall flow. If it was not for the abs, Dennis Wolf would win this one easy. I mean, those are nice cuts in the abs, I guess, for Gunter, but I don't know, guys. And Marcus, a little too smooth, a little too smooth monsoon to compete with, uh, with either of them, really, I think. So, in this one... Like I said, guys, first place goes to Dennis in the ab and thigh. Finish this one off with the most muscular. And Marcus and Dennis, I think they're, you know, when you take the glutes out of this one, the dryness, and it's not just because I'm rooting for glutes, guys. It has to do with the last line of defense for water storage, for fat storage, sits in those glutes, lower back glutes. And to get those strided, to get those dry... You have to go to a dark place. That's what Rami said. And I like that. He's, you have to go to a dark place. And you do. And judging by this one, it is a battle for second place. Marcus Rule, he brings a house. You know, he brings a house to the competition. It's got a two-car garage. Looks like he's holding his wang, though. You ever notice that in this one? Looks like he's holding on to his schlugger, his German tutu. But anyway, guys, enough of that foolishness. Dennis Wolf, very incredible in this one. Very difficult to defeat. But, I mean, Marcus Rule has all those tools. If anybody's going to beat him, it's going to be him. Here is your winner, guys. And I know I'm going to get a few thumbs down from the people that hate strided glutes and the even the mere mention of the glutes. But let's face it, guys, if all things were equal... As far as that was concerned, might have given it to Dennis Wolf, and he probably did get second place in this one. But nobody remembers who took second place. Everybody remembers who took first, and it was Gunter Schleerkamp. Hit thumbs up on your second fan requested, or no, you pick Tuesday. Sorry, get your request in as well. You can take your time on this one. Make sure it's a good one. I will be looking for the one with the most thumbs up. It'll get played next Tuesday. Unless anything happens to me, God forbid. Have a great day, guys.